My name is Patrick, um, and we will be going over the process for checking whether this tool is down hole ready. What we'll be using to start off with is our tool tracker box, which will need our tool tracker cable and our power supply. Okay, and cut. In this step, we will be connecting the tool tracker box to our tool that we'd like to test. First, connect your tool tracker cable. connect your power to your box. The next step is to verify the orientation of your connector and make sure it's in the correct orientation to mate to your tool. The next step is to turn on your tool tracker box And we will verify that the tool is now connected to the tool tracker box by doing a tap test. The tool is connected, the flow light should turn on. Next step, we will be verifying our orifice location using our gap setting tool. This is a critical step for having a proper pulse. Take your gap setting tool and insert it through your orifice holder and screw it into your tool. Next, go to your sure pulse and set it to the pulse setting. We're looking for a one second pulse. Your dial should make a full rotation. Things to look for would be a slow return of your dial, and other things to look for would be too large of a gap or too small of a gap. So for this pulser, the pull current is reading 946. This is how much current is required to move the solenoid. The acceptable range for a retrievable pulser would be 600 to 1,000 on the pull current. If it's over 1,000, that may indicate that we need to do maintenance on this tool. This tool has been sitting on the shelf for a while, so the next step, we will be checking the quality of the oil fill. The first step is to remove our dial. Turn off our sure pulse. Insert our removable installation tool. Insert the orifice removal tool. Twist counter rotation to remove the orifice holder. and then pull to remove the orifice. Next, we will be inserting our verification tool. The zero line should line up with your shoulder. All right, so to check the quality of the oil fill, turn the tool so that the, the arms aren't rested on the shoulder and then push with as much force as you can. This will push the tool against the compensating piston and you're pushing against the, the oil that's inside the solenoid area. You want this to feel very solid. There shouldn't be any sponginess when you uh, push on it. If it does move, uh, it could be an indication that there's an air bubble inside and that the oil fill needs to be redone for this tool. In this step, we will be reinserting our orifice holder. The first step is you take your Teflon tape and then 
apply it to the threads. Remove your verification tool. Not sure how that fits on the back. Install your orifice holder tool into your orifice holder. And now insert your orifice holder into your tool. You may have to back off the threads on this tool as it gets closer um, because it could bottom out. So we can also use the sure pulse to help us set the gap. So before we removed the orifice holder, we were seeing 950 milliamp on the pull. So it's going to continue to insert the orifice holder until we get actually the 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 manual will tell you to screw the orifice holder in all the way screw it in the other way screw it in all the way until it bottoms out and then back it out two turns So he's got the orifice holder in all the way and it's not even making a pulse because it's stopping the, the solenoid from moving. So as he starts- That's two turns. Yeah, so as he backs it out, you can see that we're at 890 milliamp. He backed it out two turns. And now to check that, you put your dial indicator back in. watch the gauge so we're very close it's it's got almost one complete revolution so I think we need to back it out just a tad tad is an English measurement for a small amount All right, so you back it out a little bit and we're at 900 milliamps on the full current It's within five. We can get a little, well, it's within three. Yeah, so this was this would be good. This passes the acceptance test. So for this pulser, we checked the gap, we checked the oil fill quality, we reinserted the orifice holder, and it is ready to go down hole. In this step, we'll be connecting our tool tracker box to our tool. The first thing we're doing is connecting our tool tracker cable and we will be applying power. I'm sorry. In this setting, uh, oh, sorry. in this step, we will be verifying our gap. In the next step, we will be checking the quality. Man, okay. To check the quality of the oil fill, make sure. Your oil field tool is in this location, and, and that's fine. Okay. 